be about ready. Give it a couple minutes, see if people get on. People trickle in, I'm sure. There we go. There's my ugly mug. What's up, dogs? It's good to see you here. Um, if you've got any questions while we're doing this, feel free to ask. Um, I am not an expert, so don't expect anything like that, but it uh, should be fun. So behind me, I got I got all my parts. Um, my case is over here. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, and let's see. I got a couple view. I got two views for this, so let's see if they're working. Yeah, that's working. It was freezing earlier, so hopefully that stays working. Um, I can move that around. That's not a permanent spot for it. Um, nothing's been opened yet except for the case and the graphics card. The graphics card was open because it was actually. Uh, I actually used it in my system for a little bit, um, but that'll be going into my new system. Um, my case has been open because I wanted to make sure it didn't have any cracks or anything. Um, you guys, you guys hear me loud and clear? Hopefully, because I don't have a, I don't have my headset on today, and uh, I don't have any audio coming out. So I just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Um, and we are going to get started in a second. Let me grab my case real quick. All right. This right here is the star of the show. This is the R6X, R60X RGB case. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's got uh, three red uh, or uh, RGB hey Pam how you doing it's got three RGB uh, fans in the front and it's tempered glass on the side um, the case I got right now um, yeah, it's okay but uh, this is much cooler so um, let's get started I guess all the regs I like it all right my camera my camera is kind of janky um don't tell anyone but it's uh it's duct taped on so you have to bear with me on that all right so any of you guys actually built a computer before That's probably Manicore, if I had to guess. All right, so that's the tempered glass, which is really nice. Oh, uh, Manicore's here. Yeah, duct tape, right? It's uh, it's impressive. Actually, I'll show you guys real quick. So I have the stand for my mic, but I don't have a stand for my my camera. So check this out. You see that? You guys impressed? You should be. That's some blue duct tape. Oh, and Musty's here. Yeah, everyone's here. That's my shirt. You get out of here. I've had this shirt for years. Uh, the cool thing about this uh, case, I don't know if you guys can see it, on top here, this, uh, here, let me go back to, there you go. Up top here is a magnetic dust filter. So you could put a radiator up here and this will keep all the dust out. It's super fine mesh. I don't even know if you guys can see it. There's one of the reasons I bought this case because uh, my current case is a dust magnet. All right, so this is going under. I'm gonna show you some of the parts I got. Yeah, I really, I'm really digging that dust filter. 
All right, and here's the deal. My hair is super long right now, so I might throw on a ball cap later, so don't judge me. All right, um, so here we go. We got a uh, GeForce GTX 6 gigabyte. Um, this graphics card, I've actually already been using it for about two months, is amazing. Um, I put my old card back in the current computer I have so I can throw this, this beauty in this one. Um, then we got Core i7, 7700. Um, I was going to go for K, but uh, I guess I forgot. So <laughs> I thought I got the K. I only got the standard 7700. Uh, so Strix uh, Z270E motherboard. So all these are unopened except for the graphics card. So I'm going to open them up all on, on stream as well. Um, 120 gigabyte hard drive or SSD. A four terabyte um, hard drive from Seagate. A water cooler from Corsair. I have never used a water cooler, so this will be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this will be done in, in probably five minutes, and then uh, I'll be gaming on it the rest of the night. And then uh, power supply, 550 watt. You don't really need much more. The hat might go on because my hair is driving me nuts. Um, and then uh, last but not least, uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. This is actually the same RAM I said that you should get, Musty. Uh, after I saw it for you, I decided to get it for myself. Get some of these covers off. You're barely running one fourth of that. Yeah, my current my current rig has twelve, I think, uh, which is. Which is nice, but not not quite enough to do everything I wanted to do. So let's see if we can get this to stay. Yes, it's janky. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So right now I'm just going to take out the. Uh, you can see in the bottom. It's got shrouds for your uh, power supply and your cables. So I'm going to take those out um, and then we're going to start putting in the motherboard. This one's hard to get out. Uh, the cable management will probably be terrible. Uh, I'm going to do my best, but I haven't built enough computers to be good at it. Right now I'm having trouble with this uh, 
power supply shroud. It's got a clip in it, and I don't want to break it, so. See what happens here. Easy. I knew it. So first piece is going to be the motherboard. Brand of the screwdriver, hold on. That's, uh, let's see, you can see that Craftsman. So if you don't have a Craftsman screwdriver, you're not doing it right. paperwork or anything yet. I think it's underneath probably. Yep. So we'll look at that in a second. You guys get a nice shot of my crotch. I'm not sponsored by Craftsman, just so we're clear. <laughs> You know what? I think it does. I didn't buy it for that, but I think it does have RGB. Um, so this is the motherboard. You guys, you guys see that? It's not very great on my webcam. Let me be able to put it over here. So it's got plenty of uh, RAM slots and plenty of PCIe Express. Um, probably gonna have a capture card in there sometime later. Um, yeah, I got the Corsair Strafe. I love this thing. I just have it on set to red right now. I need to set up the profile. I just uh, did a clean wipe on my computer. So. Alright. So let's see what else we got in the box. Join the Republic. And, oh, it's a coaster. Uh, they come with coasters now. You never know what you're going to find in these boxes. So apparently the coaster is the new thing. I'll probably actually use it though. Some stickers that I'll never ever use. Oh, those are cable decals. Some free stuff. Oh, cable mod. Drivers. More stickers. These are kind of cool. I'm sure my kid will use them before I do. Oh, is that is that what's going on, Manicor? I'm giving this away. Yeah, I'll give it away for uh, sixteen hundred dollars. If anyone sends me that, I'll give it away. Uh, the manual that I will be reading consistently while setting this up. So we got uh, our shield, our input shield, some SATA cables, uh, 
uh, some more some more SATA cables. I don't know what this is, but I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, this might be like an SLI bridge. Yeah, SLI bridge for a uh, dual graphics card, which I don't have, so that'll just stay in there. You guys hear me all right back there? Hey, what's up, monkey? CPU installation tool, which I've never once needed. This looks like a wireless adapter, like an antenna, to extend your range. Um, standoff screws. Yep, standoff screws. Alright. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these right now. What's handy, the CPU? Uh, no, but from what I understand, the uh, the water cooler comes with the, the tube of it. I'm not gonna go out and buy third-party stuff. If it doesn't, then that sucks, and I'll just have to put it on later. Yeah, they, they all heaters usually come, or uh, coolers, not heaters, that would be bad. Coolers come with uh, paste, so. Sorry if I'm taking too long, guys, you know. All right. <clears throat> you don't, yeah. I mean, thermal paste really isn't needed, right? Oh, give me one sec. My camera turned off. camera turned off so uh, I have a backup battery because I was almost positive that was going to happen. No, I'm good. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so, step one is to put in your shield. Uh, I forget to do this every time I build one, so I'm actually proud that I'm remembering to do it. Now, just to make sure I do it properly. Um, so this is going to go this way. Okay. Alright, 
so that's installed. So it's always fun when you build your entire computer and then realize you've forgotten to put that in. Install the motherboard now. You can't just sometimes you can just install it, but most times you need standoffs. This already has some standoffs in it, so it might actually be good. Uh, and if anyone's wondering, standoffs are the little screws that are popping up, the little sockets that hold the motherboard in place. I think I think it's actually good. all the standoffs in already so that's awesome I don't have to do that and then this is the reason right here this box is the reason I had to send back the case I had already gotten um, now I haven't put the chip in yet is the CPU gonna fit yeah it's gonna I hope they're compatible so um, this box is the reason I had to uh, return the last case I got because it didn't come with it. So I had to return it. Amazon was pretty uh, pretty cool about getting it back to me. They gave me free one day shipping for a turnaround so that I could do this build today. So that was cool. Some uh, free Amazon free Amazon advertising never hurt them, right? So these are the motherboard screws, that's what we're actually looking for, but the other things came with long screws, some, a couple standoffs, uh, some really small screws in case you need them. Um, I believe these are for mounting, if you're, you're mounting uh, fans and, and uh, uh, your coolers. Some zip ties, really cheap zip ties that I'll probably use later, um, and some more tiny screws, I have no idea what they're for. So let's make sure these fit. Before I pour them all out. sure I can get to the cooler from the back before I secure this in because I might have to do the CPU and cooler first. Yeah, we're good. This case is actually a mid tower. It's not a full size. My, I have a full size and it's much bigger than this. If I don't see your comments, sorry, the screen's on the other side of the room. in the Navy is you never tighten all your screws all the way until you get them all uh, get them all attached um, it's gotten it, it doesn't break anything but it's super annoying when you get them all in and then the last one won't fit because it does not lining up properly I'm sure if, if you got any of you guys are handymen you know that So you just get them started, and then you go back and you tighten them all. I 
And my computer yelled at me, I don't know why. This one's deceiving. It's actually a post that's coming through. I thought it was a spot for a screw. This uh, top one in the corner is always a big pain to get in. There's no room for your hands. And I have sausage fingers, so it doesn't help. Should be the last one. Okay. So that's the motherboard. Computers are fine with magnets, it's just the hard drives. Wait, are you dissing my beard? I'll kick you right off the stream. You better watch yourself, dogs. Alright, uh, next is going to be the... Next is going to be the uh, processor. I don't care if it's the most magnificent beard or not. It's my beard. You lay off. The hardest part, finding out how to open it. What are you guys up to tonight? Besides watching me. Uh, booklet. Worst part about building a PC is all the extra paper you get with it. Dogs, are you even old enough to grow one? I got best of both worlds. I got hair on both sides of my head. Oh yeah, I hate that they do that. So look at this box. You pull the cooler out and you got an empty box. It's because they stick it on the side. So you're sitting there looking at it like, where the hell's my processor? It's right there hiding. There it is. So the trick with the processor, I don't know if you guys have ever put in a processor. Can you see, see that little triangle there at the bottom? That's your key. You guys see in there or not? There you go. So lift up the retention arm. 
pop this guy out. This is just a little protective shield. Nothing special. It's hard to see. Actually, this one may not even have it. Never seen that before. Usually, there's a little triangle that tells you which direction to put in your processor. It's not super hard to figure out which way to put it, but usually there's one in there. slide right in the proper way. As long as you're gentle, you're not going to break it. I, uh, I tried to close one when I was first building. There it is. Yeah, alright, so if you guys can see if you guys can see that or not there's a little notch right here that tells you which way to go. Um, it'll only fit in one way. So if you try to put it in the other way, it won't seat properly. And if you force it, you will fuck up your pins. Um, and I tried to do that the very first time I ever ever built a PC. I put it in wrong and started trying to close it, and it wasn't working. Luckily, I didn't damage it too bad, or at all, really. I guess it still worked. But it was terrifying. Maybe that's better. All right. So now you close it, and you put your retention arm down, and it's done. So that's the processor. Real tight. Oh, what? I see gone sexual a lot. What's, what's going on here? Are we looking at titles for the video? All right, now the part that I have no experience with. The water cooler. I don't even know. Maybe we should do the hard drives first. Yeah, we're going to do the hard drives first because this thing's big. Uh, solid state drive. These aren't anything special. Uh, if you're ever building a PC, you should probably do a solid state drive for your operating system. Um, so we got a USB. Or I guess you can make it. Did it come with an external? Because this is the this is the internal hard drive. It's got a mounting. Uh, this is like a grommet. It's like a pad, soft padded stuff. Dude, when I put in a solid state for my operating system, the first time I booted my computer, it was almost orgasmic. It went from like a minute and a half startup to, uh, I don't know, two minutes. This is 120 gig. You don't need more than 60, honestly. Uh, your operating system should only be, I don't know, 40 gigs, 30 gigs, something like that. Uh, if you want to put other stuff on it, like if you have a... Uh, I don't know, rendering applications or uh, or games that you want particularly to uh, go particularly fast, then yeah, you can get bigger, but I guess this is an external. Oh, this is cool. You can turn your SSD into an external hard drive. I've never seen that before. There it is. That's cool. It's got the connectors in there. Huh, interesting. Helps a lot in PUBG. Well, I might have to do that. I have room for it, so we'll have to see. Yeah, and I bet uh, Adobe works really well with that. Alright, so this is really easy, installing this. 
It's almost not even worth showing you, but I'll show you anyway. So right here, it's got three SSDs trays. Um, All right, move all this shit out of the way. This is not interesting either. This is my four terabyte hard drive. This is what I've been rubbing all my magnets on all day just to make it go faster. If you got questions, Monkey, uh, let me know. Yeah, this isn't, um, it's not as bad as it looks, honestly. You buy the parts and you plug it all in and then you're good to go. You can get more complicated with it, but you don't need to. So four terabyte, uh, Seagate, nothing, nothing crazy. You guys like watching me spin in my chair. All right. This right here is the hard drive tray. So that slides right out. All you do is match the pins up. I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but it's fine. That stupid pin always falls out. I don't know if four, four terabytes is enough. I mean, there's a lot of porn out there, man. All right, uh, so that was hard drives. We got power supply left. And we'll do, we'll go and do the cooler now. Like I said, this is the part I'm dreading because I've never done this before. So if there's any part that's going to make me look like a complete idiot, it's this part. That and the cable management. But yeah. Oh, I didn't say it. If anyone's building a PC, you should wear an ESD strap. But I've never done it, and I've never had any issues. All right, so this has got two fans. These fans are nice. I mean, you guys can't tell, but these fan blades are super thick. This thing feels rugged as hell. Yeah, that's you just pour water into the radiator, like over top of it, right? Isn't that how this works? All right, we got a bunch of mounting hardware. You, uh, Manicor, have you done, uh, you did water cooling, right, on your rig? Nothing. Okay. I'm really surprised there's no paperwork. That's fine. I'll suffer through this. Vinegar? Yeah. You know, if you do vinegar baking soda, you could recreate your high school science experiment right in the middle of your PC case. Man, 
this thing is sexy. That's the plate that goes over it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you on the other camera in a little bit. It's got thermal paste on it, so that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it'll be too hard. I figured all this stuff out once, so I can figure it out again. People have done fish tanks inside their computers. It's been done. You should check it out. Uh, Linus Tech Tips on YouTube did a uh, did an oil filled machine uh, and made it look like a fish tank. It was cool. All right. Clean up some of these screws before I lose them. Yeah, you never would have thought about it, but uh, oil filled machines, uh, oil's non conductive, so you, they just filled it right up. They found a case that was waterproof, filled it up, and all their components ran just fine. And they all stayed dust free, which is pretty cool. But it's a huge mess if you ever want to replace anything. Oh, musty. So we got tons of hardware. A plastic plate and a metal plate. And no instructions, so we're gonna we're gonna figure this one out together. Make sure there was no instructions because that would suck. There was. All right, I'm done. Something's strong forearms. Yeah. All right. So that plastic piece goes on the back. I'm just reading the instructions before I fuck it up. Things move. I don't know if you guys can see them. These little uh, corner things move. So I got to line them up. 
I had to guess that it should be right in the middle. You're not leaving yet, are you? Well, of course. All right, you guys aren't gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna have to hold this up and do it because these keep falling out. Is this, is this my new thing? You know, you guys send me money, I'll build whatever you want. This actually doesn't make sense. Does not require backplate installation. Proceed to step two. All right, so it says I don't need the backplate. Stay not tight, no four screws until firmly secure. Yeah, we'd love to. So this doesn't make any sense. So this says this should just fit without any standoffs or without any um, backplate. I mean, they go in, but they don't tighten or anything. Should not use tap water, okay, I won't. I'll use filtered. So I'll show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, distilled water, that's what I thought. You guys are gonna be able to see on this. Like, uh, 
completely blurry or half blurry? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. What's that thing called? H 100i? Yeah. says I don't need the back plate but it doesn't screw in unless I use it so I don't know what's supposed to secure it on the back end um, so I will show you this right here so this back plate has little screws right here. Um, this side doesn't fit, which is what the picture made it look like it was doing. But if I flip it around, it does fit. Just like that. So I'm going to try that. And then we're going to see what happens. I'm doing is attaching this back plate. It's it's up right now so I can actually reach it. I'll show you when I'm done. Standoffs in. They're pretty loose, so I don't know if this is how it's supposed to go.
For some reason, my computer is telling me I go to sleep in eight, eight and a half hours. That's about right, I suppose. I am not a very hairy man besides on my head. So it's a very small prize. <clears throat> All right. Um, install the fans and radiator. I can do that part. E and J. these parts I wonder if these let me try something real quick I wonder if these are thread sorry I know this is riveting Those fit better. None of these bags are labeled like they said they were. So, you know, that's good. I'm looking it up online because I don't want to do this incorrectly. Watching a quick video, skimming through it. standoffs that I need to install. So I'm going to do that. And hopefully I can get this thing installed tonight because this is taking up most of my time, obviously. Zoom? What is this? <laughs> Duct tape has never been an issue while filming. Everyone knows this. This is high quality production equipment. It costs 10 grand of duct tape. Let's just zoom in.
Duct tape is coming off, guys, because it is not working currently. Yeah, you won the giveaway for the back hair, dogs. Congratulations. The blinds are clean. They're just brown. Probably because of the dust. back out. Alright, sorry guys. Oh, you like my calves, huh? Alright. So now we got a free cam. You guys suck, by the way. My house is not dirty. It's kind of dirty, but don't worry about it. Alright, next part is to find these standoff screws that supposedly came with my motherboard. Now I gotta read what he said. Oh god. Do I have to ban you? I play video games with you all night, every night. And I'm gonna have to ban you from my channel. this rate, dogs, you're going to see an explosion because I'm going to get pissed off if this doesn't start working. These are like the tiniest, these aren't going to work. These are the tiniest goddamn screws that I've ever seen. There's no way this works. Fucking sweet. No parts. Uh, no parts. Any more parts in here? Who sausage fingers? Am I sausage fingers? I have dainty electrician fingers.
Are you guys bored yet? I'm I'm pretty bored. I might wait. I might put this off to the side for a minute and do some other stuff because I'm getting bored watching this for myself. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna do some RAM. And I may regret this later. But I'm gonna do some RAM now. I might have to remove them later, but it's easy, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, we're still on the cooler because uh, that thing's confusing the hell out of me. I don't think it came with all the parts. I don't know. I'm just an idiot. So I'm doing RAM now because I don't want to mess with that for right now. Alright, so these are my two white sticks of RAM. These are the only white sticks I found. Dude, if it doesn't come with straight pictures, it's like Chinese to me. Alright, so the best thing to do with these is to rub them on like a balloon or like a carpet or some socks to build up that static so it really stays in its spot when you put it in. If you can't tell I'm kidding, then uh, I can't help you. There is a specific slot and it changes depending on your motherboard um, that you're supposed to put in RAM. So I definitely want my manual for this. Uh, it's over here. So if you have four sticks it's easy because there's four slots but generally with two sticks of RAM, you want to put them in a certain spot. Um, motherboard CPU, it's a dim, or dim installation system. Yeah, it's easy to put it in. All you gotta do is line up so it's not matched, so it's backwards. You gotta do that so you, you push this little pin out. Hopefully you guys can see. You push this little uh, tab out. You line up your, your notch on your, your RAM to the motherboard. And then you snap it in half. I'm just gonna, then you push it right in the spot. And I'll, I'll push it in more in a second, but that's the other one that's going in Look backwards. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this uh, two-handed. I should say one-handed. Did you go in this line? Okay, and then I can't show you this because I need both hands, but you push with both hands to get it to see. And then you hear the snap. There we go. Ram is in. Nice and snug. You push it in so these tabs, these tabs right here, snap back into place. Um, and to release them, or to get, I'm sorry, these tabs back here. Um, and to get them out, you push them down and you pull them out. But don't try and pull them out if you don't push those tabs. Because you're a little screwed up. <laughs> Uh, 
Monkey, there's a there's a notch in the bottom of the ram. Um, and it's only going to go in one way. So if you try and do it the other way, it won't fit. You can damage your ram. So you just ma match up the notches on the motherboard. Um, it's it's pretty easy. All right. Um, I'm gonna put it in the power supply because I can. Um, I'm just putting off the inevitable because eventually we're gonna have to get back to that cooler. If you're ever using a knife, uh, cut towards yourself. Mm. All times. <laughs> Fancy cases. But kind of useless? I don't know. This is for all your cables and stuff. Um, I guess it's kind of nice to keep all your cables together, so. But that's that's cool. I already got one from a different power supply I got. These are all the cables, so if you're ever getting a power supply and you want to do your own like custom rig to make it look nice, go modular. What modular means is that uh, it comes with all these separate cables. Um, if you don't get a modular one, all these cables are attached to the power supply already and they can't come un unattached so you'll end up with a ton of extra cables that you just don't need. No, cut towards yourself. Always towards yourself. Everyone knows that. Manicore, tell them. There it is. So a lot of people go for the giant power supplies, the uh, like 850,000 watt power supply, because in their head they're thinking, oh, I'm buying this crazy gaming computer, so I just need this giant, this giant power supply, right? So I did the math. Um, I did the math, and I only need about a 320 power. Uh, watt power supply so this is a 550 technically this is overkill I like a little wiggle room but with the, with the vein not across it yeah I don't think that's what we were talking about but I mean that's good that's good info too alright so keep forgetting to change my scene This is kind of cool. This uh, this case comes with a, a filter on the bottom. So this is the top in case you guys got turned around, uh, and then this is the bottom. This is where the power supply is going to go. So it's got this nice removable filter. So I am going to put the fan facing down. So there's the fan. It's going to go facing that way. Can you guys see that? Just like that. You can make it point up. A lot of people do that. Um, it doesn't really matter because the exhaust is the back. Um, so as long as you're you're either pulling air in from the top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. But this has really good uh, uh, feet on the bottom to give it clearance off the ground. So I'm not worried about putting it on the bottom. If you don't have good clearance, don't put your fan pointing down because then you don't have an intake for your battery or your power supply. No, dogs, you're getting it. You're totally getting it wrong. The internet is. You probably got it off Wikipedia. I bet. Um, typically, when I cut, I didn't because uh, you know I want it in the camera view. But typically, I hold it up at eye level and I really just cut towards. You get the most leverage. It, it's the best way. And you guys better start liking my video.
All right, so this came with some hardware. Is. Let's see what this is. UVGA detection tool. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. All right. There we go. More screws. At least I know these. Where these ones go. fits because it's not looking too great right now. So there's the power supply that's in. Um, I'm considering taking this out. I can take out this hard drive bay, the whole thing, um, so I can get to these cables better because it's not a great angle. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to do that. Too bad, it's just a couple of screws right here. And here.
comes right out. And that way you can get to these better. Alright, so it's starting to come together. You guys can see that. We're getting there. Next is the graphics card. See you, dogs. Uh, see you when you get back. Yeah, those are extra parts on the table. PCs come with tons of parts because there's all sorts of different brands and sizes and everything. So there's so much. All right. Um, I think we need to work on the cooler. That thing I've been avoiding the whole time. And I still don't know where these supposed standoffs are. Step says to attach the provided Intel standoffs, but I just don't have provided Intel standoffs. Let's see, is there a parts list? Maybe that'll help. Alright, so this is the standoff I'm supposed to, or the piece I'm supposed to be using, but it doesn't currently fit. It's not going to fit. I don't know where to go after that. And that's going to piss me off. So let me look in my boxes one more time. No, not there. Manicor, are you still there? I have no such parts, so that's not good. Pre-installed? That's not pre-installed. Maybe. Sorry guys, I know this is really interesting. All right, well I'll show you the graphics card anyway, um, and I will—I'll probably have to figure this out, figure that part out off stream. So here is the graphics card. So this thing is beautiful. 
Um, it's a six gigabyte, which is really nice. Um, it's got what three HDMI and no two HDMI and two uh, DVI inputs. Uh, it's really nice. I've been using it for a couple months in my rig right now, and it has been amazing. Um, so and this is super easy to install. So I'll uh, I'll install these, and then unfortunately I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about this cooler because I don't have the parts that it's asking for. Um, and uh, and then the rest is just cable hookup. Um, once I get it all hooked up, though, I'll, I'll put it up on Twitter so you guys can see it. Um, this part is pretty easy. You just you're gonna have to pull out your your shrouds right here, your covers. So I'm gonna do that real quick. It's easier with two hands. just like with the RAM, so I, I pulled these guys out up here, that's what I just did. Just like with the RAM, there's a little tab here, you pull it back, pull your card in, and you can see there's a little notch up front, that's how you know where it goes. I mean, it's not too hard, it's pretty obvious where it goes, but, and then you just put it in the slot, and I want to make sure I'm lining it up, so I don't want to break it. All right, so it's just sitting in there barely, and then once it's in there, push it so you hear a nice click and then the little screws that I pulled out of the top up here for these uh, these shields just go right back in there's like no room to work up here so dropping screws every now and then is going to happen. I'm sure if I did this all day every day for a company it would be easier but I don't so it isn't. So that's the PC basically built. Right there. <laughs> yeah, the cooler is missing some parts, I think, so uh, I'll have to figure that out. 
Maybe I misplaced them, but I have all my parts sitting right here on the table and right here on the desk in front of me. They're not there, so we'll, uh, I'll have to figure that out. Um, the only part that is really left to do besides the cooler is, is the cables. Um, I wanted to show you guys that, but I'm not hooking up all the cables and then trying to hook up the cooler afterwards because that's, uh, that's just kind of futile. I'm going to have to undo them to get the cooler in. Um, but if you guys want to see the final build with the, the, uh, the cables and everything and the cooler installed, uh, check out my Twitter. It's uh, at Harbinger number nine, just like it's uh, spelled for the channel. And I'll post some pictures, but uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, I know we didn't quite finish, so that kind of sucks, but uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Um, you guys were great, great tonight, so I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably call it here, um, and I'll post pictures on my Twitter. So just uh, go ahead and follow that so you can see them. Um, and if you guys you know are on stream later, uh, I'll probably post them on stream. Um, so see so you guys. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, come back anytime, ask me questions, and I'll, I'll see what I can do for answering. See you guys.